Today, we are doing a deep dive on Demarest, New Jersey. We'll be going over the history of the town. We'll be going over the lifestyle that you get in town. And then we'll get into some other topics such as affordability in Demarest, New Jersey and the real estate. How the real estate prices in Demarest stack up to the rest of Bergen County, but also specifically how they stack up to the rest of the Northern Valley, which many people know is one of the most premier areas that you can move to if you want to be in the New York City suburbs. So if you're interested in moving to Demarest or you just want to know everything you need to know about the town, this is the video for you because this is everything you need to know about Demarest, New Jersey. Demarest is located in the northeast area of Bergen County. This area is known as the Northern Valley and Demarest is smack dab in the middle of it. As you can see, Demarest is surrounded by closer to the north, Hallworth, Creskill, and Alpine over here to the east. Demarest, as well as most of the Northern Valley towns, is split down the middle between the East Hill and the West Side. So East Hill real estate does command a premium compared to the West Side. The location is very close to Manhattan, New York City, accessible via 9W and the George Washington Bridge right here to the south. Now, Demarest is also well located in Bergen County, so you have access to the restaurants in Westwood, Ridgewood, Paramus, Hackensack, and all of the other ones that are scattered throughout the county. Before I get into more boring details and facts about Demers, New Jersey, I want to just give you my personal opinion as someone who's grown up in Bergen County and has a pulse on all the towns and what types of people move there. Demers is a premier town. People move there, especially if they're working in New York City with young school aged children because it's got great access to New York City. It's a beautiful town. There's plenty of greenery and trees and it offers a great school system. So all these factors combined allow hustling and bustling New York City workers to come home to a quiet house in a beautiful neighborhood. And if you're looking for a diverse town, it might not be at the top of your list. It is not as diverse as other towns in Bergen County. However, there are a lot of people moving to Demers from overseas, from all different countries. So you can expect that diversity to change and increase over time. Demarest is definitely a town built on older infrastructure. The heart of town revolves around the old train station and the duck pond. You'll find a small strip of stores and restaurants downtown. When you want to find some more modern amenities, you could go up north to Closter, or you could go down to Edgewater, Fort Lee, maybe over west to Paramus. You do have options, and Demarest is located in a great place where you could pretty much get anywhere you need within 30 minutes. Regarding the history of Demarest, New Jersey, you can see a full synopsis of the borough history on the Demarest Town website, but I did summarize it for you guys. So here we go. Demarest has a balance between the works of man and nature, and nature has played a role in Demarest's development since the beginning of human settlement. The town was founded by Dutch settlers and the Demers family who settled there in the 18th century. They played a significant role in the town's development. The town was burned down during the revolution, but the settlers returned and rebuilt the community. The town prospered in the 19th century with the opening of the Northern Railroad of New Jersey and the development of a hotel and racetrack. The late 1800s saw many changes, including the building of school, churches, and various businesses, the borough of Demarest was finally established in 1903. And when we look at what the NJMLS has to say about the history of Demarest, we find out a bit more information, such as the fact that it's only 2.5 square miles. It's a small, affluent, friendly community, just eight miles from the George Washington Bridge. And most new residents are professionals or business executives who like the small town charm, peaceful atmosphere, fine schools, and simple commute to New York City. Diving into quick facts about the demographics of Demarest, New Jersey, we see a population of just over 5,000 residents and a median household income of $162,500. We have 1,651 households in town. And when we break down the employment graph, we can see that 66% of these people are white collar workers with 34% being blue collar. Looking into the cost of living in Demers, New Jersey, we do have this cost of living map presented to us by bestplaces.net. And we can see that Demers has this darker magenta color, not as quite as dark as Alpine, Tenafly, Angwood Cliffs, Old Tapan up here to the north 
and then you're gonna have Saddle River, Upper Saddle River, and Hohokus over here to the west. But Demarest does sit as one of the more expensive towns in the Northern Valley. You can see here that it's more expensive than Norwood, more expensive than Harrington Park, more expensive than Creskill. And you're going to feel that from not only the neighborhood itself, but the neighbors that you live amongst. In my proprietary statistical report, you can see that Demarest has a median sold price of $1,275,000 with an average sold price of $1,411,000. And the crazy thing about Demarest is that current active inventory is seven homes on the market. In the past year, we've had 78 listings hit the market as new listings. So there's not a lot of options in Demarest. It's a very small town, very highly sought after. People are dying to get in there for the schools, lifestyle, and the commute. And you can see that reflected in the numbers right here, 1.275 and 1.411. No joke, ladies and gentlemen. Regarding parks in Demarest, most of that arborage is actually on personal property, all this green that you see in town. You do have the Alpine Country Club, which is a great golf course in town. Then you have the Davies Arboretum and Wildlife Preserve, the Demarest Duck Pond right in the heart of town, the Wakeley Park, it's got the soccer field there as well and the Demarest Nature Center. When you zoom out, you do have the Palisades Interstate Park. It's along the Hudson River, and you get all the biking trails, all the walking, hiking trails that you could ask for just 15 minutes away from Demarest. So you have options if you just want a quick three-minute drive to a park in town, but if you want something more expansive, you're not far from it. Demarest has what you need as far as parks and outdoor recreation goes. There are four public schools in Demarest, New Jersey, and it starts at County Road School, offering grades pre-K through one. At this school, you'll find a student to teacher ratio of eight students to one teacher, which is pretty fantastic. Moving up, you'll see Luther Lee Emerson School, which offers grades two through four and has a student to teacher ratio of nine students to one teacher. You do have the Demarest Middle School, which offers grades five through eight, and has a student to teacher ratio of nine students to one teacher. Students will finally finish their public school education at Northern Valley Regional High School at Demarest, which is a fantastic school offering grades nine through 12. And in this high school, you'll have a student to teacher ratio of 10 students to one teacher. So how do these schools stack up? The County Road Elementary School, it has four reviews with four stars. Then you have the Luther Lee Emerson School rated an eight out of 10 and the Demarest Middle School rated nine out of 10 according to greatschools.org. And students will go to the Northern Valley Regional High School at Demarest, which has a great schools rating of 10 out of 10. As far as the real estate goes, here is a quick tour down one of the streets in the East Hill of Demarest. You have some pretty massive new constructions being built, as well as some older but still impressive constructions on the streets. Every once in a while, you'll see a house that does feel a bit dated compared to the rest. However, it is the land that maintains value, not necessarily the house as you're in Demarest. Here we have a older colonial on the right with a brand new construction on the left of the street. And this is on the west side. So while the east side does have higher home prices, the west side is nothing to bat your eyes at because it is filled with beautiful, very expensive homes as well. Regarding the tax rate in town, Demarest property taxes are taxed at 2.839%, with the average tax bill being $21,983. And while some websites will say that the 2022 average home sale price is $1.19 million, we did just prove with our proprietary research that the average sold price was $1.411 million, according to the New Jersey MLS, which does track all of the MLS sales in the area. Most sales in Demarest do get listed on the market. There's not a ton of off-market activity happening here in Demarest. Then of course we can hop into the commute. If you're looking to commute to New York City by bus, you're gonna have about a 51 minute ride. And if you're looking to drive into the city, give yourself 28 minutes if you're getting there early or 40 minutes if you're gonna leave closer to rush hour, maybe even longer depending on how bad the day is. But the great thing is you do have the option of going over the George Washington Bridge or you could go to 95 and get into the city through the Lincoln Tunnel. 
And I think this is super helpful, so I'd love to share it with you. This is a driving map of everywhere you can go from Demers, New Jersey within 30 minutes driving. So you can see you cover most of Bergen County. You cover the entire northern side of Manhattan, including almost all of the Bronx. And you can get into Rockland County, New York, as well as Tarrytown over here in New York over the Tappan Zee Bridge. So if all you have is 30 minutes, you can actually get to a lot of places by car from Demarest, New Jersey. The weather is moderate with cold winters and hot summers and very nice both springs and falls. Demarest is not home to a lot of restaurants, but you do have restaurants in Englewood Cliffs along Sylvan Avenue. You do have Edgewater and Fort Lee not too far away. Closer has some great options as well. As far as dining options go, it will be about a 15 minute drive, but you have more options than you can imagine when you're up here in Bergen County, New Jersey. That's it for today, guys. My name is Tyler Sellers from Two Win Realty. And what I wanna do for you is actually provide a list of my top picks of homes on the market in Demarest. So if you're interested in seeing what I consider to be the good deals in town, there's a link in the description down below. Simply fill out that, follow the instructions, and I will send you my list of preferred Demarest homes within 24 hours. Thank you so much for watching. If you got anything out of this video, please leave it a like. And if you wanna see more town descriptions and more market updates all about Bergen County, New Jersey, make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future content. Thank you so much, and I'll catch you on the next video.